Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Today we are checking out a thin and light laptop by Xiaomi called the Mi Notebook Ultra. Let's check out its specs, features and see if it's worth the price. This is the Mi Notebook Ultra. The laptop has some really cool features for the price. It has a 3.2K resolution screen with a refresh rate of 90Hz. It's compliant with 100% sRGB color space. It's thin and light and has a fingerprint sensor and promises a day-long battery. Okay, here we are, nice and protected. We have a manual, so make sure you go through it. And here's the 65 watt power adapter and the power connector is USB-C. And here's where the main power cable would connect. We are provided a 10 amp power plug now for the laptop. Wow, look at that sheen. It's made of series 6 aluminium alloy and follows the unibody design aesthetic. Looks very much like a MacBook and that's where the inspiration is from. The body is 170 grit sandblasted to give it a smooth and fine texture for a premium look and feel. And we have the Xiaomi logo on top. On the right, we have a 3.5mm audio jack and a USB-A port. And on the left, we have a USB-C port and a HDMI 1.4 port and another USB-A port and the last one is a Thunderbolt 4 port as indicated by the Thunderbolt symbol next to it. Both the USB-C ports can be used for charging. There's a small lip in the front which allows you to grip the screen to open it. The screen can be opened using only one hand which not many laptops can pull off. Nothing much on the back except for these hinges and uh, on the bottom we have these feet and the back feet are a bit longer than the front to angle the laptop and allow for better air circulation underneath. And the big vent below allows air to flow within. Two speaker grills can be found on the bottom. The laptop is 17.9 mm at its thickest and weighs 1.7 kg. Now to the keyboard. It's a backlit keyboard with three lighting levels. And one is off and uh, then it's bright and then it's brighter. The keyboard is a dream to type on. It's clicky with the 1.5 mm key travel. It feels really good. And uh, the keys are full size and I like the arrow keys are full size too. The fingerprint sensor which is integrated within the power button looks really nice in this recessed section. I like that the power button powers up the computer and has also read your fingerprint directly to log you in. No need to tap your finger again once the system boots up. The fingerprint scanner works really well and is fast. And the laptop also boots up in around 6-7 to seven seconds, which is nice. And the touchpad is quite big compared to other laptops and is a Windows Precision touchpad which supports all of Windows gestures. It is clicky when you press down, some might like it, some won't. We have a macro key on top which when clicked opens up a window where we can set up which app we want to open by just dragging a shortcut into that window there. Next time you click on this key, it will open that app directly. The laptop is built really well and I don't feel any flex on the keyboard or on the overall body. And being so thin, it's really portable and can be slipped into a backpack without it taking much space. And being only 1.7 kg won't weigh you down. Oh, the display. It's a 15.6 inch IPS display with a QHD plus resolution, which is unheard of at this price range. The aspect ratio is 16 by 10, which would allow reading documents easier, as you would see more on screen. 100% sRGB coverage, DC dimming, blue light protection, and 90Hz refresh rate are all these features of this display. This is an awesome screen, the colors are vivid, and the viewing angles are great. Color accuracy is on point, and the visuals are really sharp, which is thanks to that QHD plus screen. Contrast ratio is 1500 is to 1, Peak brightness is 300 nits, which is adequate for indoor use. Outdoor visibility also looks good. It is touted as one of the best displays in this price segment. The display is matte, anti-glare, and this should prevent any harsh light reflections. Another highlight of this display is the 90Hz refresh rate. Yeah, I know it's only 90Hz, but it's not a gaming laptop, and the 90Hz refresh rate makes the scrolling really smooth. We can switch between 90 and 60Hz by using the function plus S. Uh, combo which would help you save a little bit of battery, but it's all up to you. I like the 90Hz mode more, so I left it at that. If you're scrolling through web pages and documents, 90Hz is very pleasing to look at. The aspect ratio being 16 by 10, we do get black bars on top and bottom of the screen as it is more taller for video. The webcam on the laptops is 720p and this is how the video looks and also how the audio sounds via the inbuilt microphone. Good enough for video calls and for those looking for support for the filters on Zoom, this laptop works with them. For sound, we have two watt bottom firing speakers which are fine and here's how they sound.
The speakers are decent, but nothing extraordinary. Now for the specs. The Mi Notebook Ultra is available in both uh, Core i5 and i7 variants. We have the i5 variant here. The Core i5-11300H is based on a 10 nanometer processor and it has Intel's Iris Xe graphics. The processor has 4 cores and 8 threads and a max clock speed of 4.4 GHz using Turbo Boost with a TDP of 35 watts. We have the 16GB 3200MHz DDR4 RAM variant and for storage it comes with a 512GB NVMe SSD. RAM is soldered to the motherboard so it cannot be upgraded. Make sure you pick up the higher RAM variant as it cannot be changed later if you need more. The NVMe SSD can be upgraded but I'm surprised why they don't have a 1TB version available as an option on their website. And gaming, this laptop is not designed for gaming and I did run a few games on it, tried Genshin Impact. I tried uh, Doom Eternal, any old game like uh, Age of Mythology worked very well on this because it's not uh, very hardware intensive and it played very smoothly. Running Cinebench R23, these are the single core and multi core scores. For wireless connectivity, we have dual band 802.11ax Wi-Fi 6 and also Bluetooth version 5.1. The laptop is decent, it's not a powerhouse, but for office documents, web browsing with multiple tabs open, video streaming, it works really well. Light gaming worked out too. Having two USB-A ports allows us to use standard USB devices, add an external USB mouse or keyboard without the need of a dongle. I could feel a bit of the heat around the laptop, not too much, and the area around the keyboard and trackpad were relatively cool. The vents blow under the screen, that's why they have this chin under the logo. The system did stay cool and didn't throttle for normal tasks. Applications launched quite fast and it had no problems running 4K video streams. The laptop has a 70 watt hour battery and its promises a full day of battery life. 6 to 8 hours of moderate use is more realistic. The charger provided is a fast charger and can get the laptop from 0 to 50% in 45 minutes. The Mi Notebook Ultra has great specs and with a whole host of discounts and coupons available, the laptop is available at around 55k for the 16GB RAM Core i5 variant instead of around 61k. And there's a 5k instant discount on HDFC cards and also a coupon for Rs 1500 by Xiaomi on their website. Amazon also has a 4k discount at this time of making the video on their website. With the aluminium build, fast processor, gorgeous 3.2K, 90Hz display, fingerprint sensor, backlit keyboard and premium looks, it's a great all-round laptop and with the discounts running, it is totally worth it. So what are your thoughts on this laptop? Is it a great buy at 55K? Comment below yes or no and if no, which one would have been a better choice? Also make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.